Is Best Buy done with Arcade 1UP? Say it as it's so. Welcome to today's video as a recording of this Friday TGIF, July 26th, 2024, the last weekend in July. And we're hearing there's no more Arcade 1UPs at Best Buy. This can't be real. Actually, I'm hoping this couple right here didn't just purchase everything. I mean, there's gotta be arcade one-ups here, right? Not too long ago, Cornercade shared this picture at his Best Buy that the arcade one-up kiosk is officially gone. Not sure if it's coming back. Not sure if there's a kiosk at this Best Buy, but I said, I'm gonna run over here and see if that's in fact what's happening with Best Buy. Now what has been removed is their digital camera area. The Nikon is completely gone at this Best Buy. You have the tape up. History. Also the Canon, which is the camera that I use. I wonder if they're just moving away from certain brands. Going with the DJI, kind of the newest. Actually right here is the newest camera, but okay. We're here for Arcade 1UP and we'll see if anything's changed like we're seeing over here. Okay, there are Arcade 1UPs here, which is reassuring. Can still come to Best Buy and pick these up and they still have the two demos. We have the NBA Jam, we have the Big Buck Hunter and then of course the NFL Blitz that's never gonna go away. It's good to see that Mortal Kombat is in fact here but what's not here is the kiosk. It has been removed also. Cornercade was dead on on this. It's history now. I did ask a couple of staff here and I said, what happened to the kiosk? And they were completely unaware that it was gone. They walked over here and said, oh my gosh, it's gone. I said, well, there are reports that other Best Buys, they're no longer there either. So not sure what's gonna happen here. They got rid of their ticket system. Will they still have demos? Will we still see Mortal Kombat 2 here? We're not gonna see the the arcade went up, the, the tickets, I mean, it's gone. No Christmas dinner, no Christmas sandwiches, no no leftovers, I mean, it's the Christmas story all over again after the, the hounds came in, the bumpuses, and ate up their meal. What is happening? We used to have the digital media over here, the DVDs, that has been gone for a while now. You can see people still coming up to the arcade one I mean, I'm hoping I mean, the kiosk, is it that big of a deal? Were people really taking those tickets and you know, taking them up to the counter? I mean, we can, we can all do this online, they can look it up. Hopefully, they won't get rid of these because I mean, this is such a great selling point. We're seeing at Costco, the impact of having arcade one-ups on the floor at Walmart. I don't know what's going on with these digital cameras. Like, Best Buy kind of revamping, maybe they're just remodeling, but Gosh, hopefully we'll still be able to come here and store pick up Arcade 1UP. I mean, we can't even, we can't even come down here and look for that Shack Jam anymore. Shack, what in the world is going on over here? Well, they still have the collectibles, which is, which is reassuring. Not, it's not all doom and gloom at Best Buy. And when I was walking up, I did see the backside of Mortal Kombat. I said, oh my gosh, okay. They're still here, you know, and, and you know, like, I saw that, but you know, I didn't, I, honestly, I really expected to see that kiosk right on the other side here. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna monitor this and uh, pay close attention. Just a couple more days and the new Batman series on Amazon Prime, Batman the Caped Crusader, which is gonna really be similar to what we're seeing here like this is the OG Batman and this is the beginning from what it looks like of the Cape Crusader August 1st premiering on Amazon Prime really uh, interested in checking this out and I did state that before I'm surprised that it's not on HBO Max or Max I'm glad it's on Amazon because currently I don't uh, I don't have Max and Gizmo says don't worry about it all is well, it's all good. I did get some help that this was not working properly and you know, the marquees never worked on here and actually somebody took 
the live button right out of here. They had to move this to get at the back of here, which I mean, we all know we can we can slide that around. But nonetheless, it could be plugged in underneath, and they you know they, to be able to get at that, everything had to go. They just never put this back. Now that doesn't explain why this has been removed at Corner Cades Best Buy. So I'm guessing all Best Buys may not have you know the kiosk anymore. Maybe they're just cutting costs, not not renting the space. But I was assured that these arcades are going nowhere. They're going to be here, and you can still pick up in stores. So, you know, if you're seeing in stock, we will still come across arcade one-ups at Best Buy. We're just not going to see the kiosk right now unless something changes. Kind of weird, you know. But I guess it's more the more important factor is having these on display. I don't know how big of an impact the kiosk was. You know, maybe they're just changing some branding around. Hopefully it's just kind of a revamp thing like what Target's doing with their toys, with their collectibles. Things are kind of kind of changing over there. Maybe they're just, you know, reformatting here. I can't believe they'd actually get rid of all those cameras, but you know, the camera that I use actually, not to scare anybody, but they don't really make this model. Like, I can't understand why, but are they just moving on and just, just kind of scrapping that out? We'll find out. I'm interested to uh, find out if, if, you, if you hit a Best Buy in your area that you know carried the arcade one up that had the kiosk, and now it's no longer there. We'll find out more. We'll stop at some throughout the weekend, but yeah, I wanted to come here first and just kind of confirm the kiosk has been erased from existence at Best Buy. Who knows, maybe one day we'll actually come across one of those arcade one-up kiosks at the exchange. And that's where most of the media has gone. I mean, this whole store just filled with DVDs that Best Buy once had and other stores to follow. Someday Walmart and Target will be missing that digital media as well. Every time I go there, it gets slimmer and slimmer and you know it's go to places like this and you know it's all here the superman 80th anniversary so it's batman's 85th anniversary so i'm guessing you know superman's 85 too i think they were both they both came out at the same time didn't they maybe a year a year apart indiana jones do have stallone rocky for 13.99 i remember when i could just watch movies like this you know over and over and just just forget about things and laugh at me. I don't sit there and and watch a lot of movies anymore. I'm disappointed. I wanted like an option to like pick up that kiosk. I remember console kits talking about that a long time ago. Like, hey, if this ever goes on sale, it's like those cardboard cutouts. Like, I once had this Batman Keaton from the the movie rental, and when they were done selling the movies or renting the first Batman. I got that, you know, and I had that in my room for a long time. I kind of envisioned having the arcade one up kiosk at home, but yeah, they're they're gone. Like nobody even knew they were gone. That that's the weird thing about it is everyone I asked was like, Oh yeah, that's that's gone now. I, I can't believe it. Well, I mean somebody came and, and grabbed it. They just haven't put it back yet. Well, it's kind of ironic that this happened at more than one store. Last time we were here I got a lot of people saying, you know, ninety nine dollars for this. I've been pricing this out and actually this is a steal, like, not bad. I mean, look at those joysticks on here. Of course, my Seinfeld reference here is, went to Best Buy, looking for Arcade 1UP, yada, yada, yada. Kiosk is gone. Spider-Man Sega, $39.99. Look at the prices in the case for Sega. Now, the funny thing is, is before I got into Arcade 1UP, I was starting to collect Sega Genesis games. I picked up the Genesis 2 and most of my games had the original case and something happened. Oh yeah, X-Men came out and that completely changed what I was doing but they have a lot more Sega now than they did the last time we were here. Just something about seeing them in the cases at NBA Jam compared to the loose carts like it's just so much more appealing like you know, if you're collecting Sega, you want that case. Like, it's perfect. NBA Live 95, do they have it? They have 96. My favorite game, be basketball game besides NBA Jam 
was NBA Live 95. Oh nice, the gummy bears. One of my favorite Disney cartoons. Just drove out to a Walmart way in the boonies because I had a lead that there was something that we've been looking for finally available at this very location. We'll run inside. Hopefully, we'll find it. And also, Arcade 1UP returns to Comic-Con. Look at this. Join Arcade 1UP at Hasbro booth for a special giveaway. So if you're heading to Comic-Con, definitely look for the Hasbro booth. And uh, yeah, see what uh, Arcade 1UP they're giving away. I think it might be X-Men 97. I could be wrong, but I did see something on Cons R Us that it looked like there was an X-Men 97. Kind of resembles that shape, so... Exciting to see Arcade went up finally getting involved. And I did run into a gentleman at Target last night that had picked up all four of these. He was telling me, you know, try this one, try this one, and kind of told me what to expect, what to look for. So I said, aren't they a lot smaller? And he go, I said, you know, they bought this. He goes, no, they're, they're, they're the size of, you know, the, the first turtles we saw. He goes, I picked up all four of them and they do have all four so here's the thing you know passing on the Batman animated series Batmobile at $79.99 it's like you hold out for something and then something else appears you know and it's just probably for the same price you know when you're done with the math it comes out to the same and you, know, you get a Batmobile or you get all four $19.88 Turtles Remastered. We have all four turtles. We can't walk away from this, can we? I'm gonna chance it and just go around the corner to see if there's any McFarlane superpowers, and then probably come right back. Gosh, those turtles are so hard to find. Like, this whole time I've been coming over like this area looking for them because that's where, you know, everything else is, the, the rest of the turtles, any other action figures, and they had them right in the open. We'll see, they do have some superpowers, but it's not it's not the ones that I'm looking for. So, well, you know, the hunt continues at least. We found something else today, you know, and you know, we drove a long ways. I, I saw that it was showing up out of stock when I, right when I kind of said, hey, we're at a Walmart I've never been to before. I was like, oh my gosh, I just drove all the way out here for nothing. I mean, are you kidding me? And some of the Streets of Rage and the Werewolf. So the joke is that the Werewolf at Costco, the animatronics, it's it's Altered Beast. So that's, you know, Arcade 1UP is bringing Altered Beast. You know, we're gonna get the official, like so, Golden Axe is coming back, but it's gonna be skinned as, as Altered Beast, right? So we're gonna start that rumor right now. I've not seen these for a long time, but check it out, they have the Batmobile. Down to $22. This is awesome. You know what? If I wasn't being lured right now with the turtles, you know, probably not see this Batmobile again. And 22 looks a lot better than 79.99. And the thing I want to point out with is the McFarland Batmobile. It's awesome. It's probably four of these put together. It's it's a it's a huge box. It's a huge Batmobile, but it's a huge price. And it's just. If I would have picked that up, probably don't make it out here to find those turtles. As I'm talking, I better kind of get back over there just in case somebody walks out with it. But it's cool to see this. I mean, when's the next time we'll come across the Batmobile? Got some mini pictures here for $3.98. Check the Spider-Man out. You can see how this guy just looked at me when I was carrying these down the aisle. We'll see what these come up. $12.97. So, okay, it's going to be a lot cheaper than... The McFarland Batmobile, right? So I mean, we're talking. We're gonna be at around around 50 bucks here. Oh, I never thought that I'd buy all four turtles again. All right, let's see what this is coming out to. 54.47. I'm actually shocked we found them all because online it was just showing up that Leonardo was here, and then right when I got in the parking lot, like I checked before I left home, it's about a 30-minute drive, kind of. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, guys. Almost halfway to Illinois, like just, just to come here. But we found all four turtles. Unbelievable, what a pickup.
and no issue filming in there. I mean, you know, I'll tell you what, I, I didn't bring the tripod. I'm learning my lesson at Walmart and I did have, look, I did have issues at the, at the previous Walmart. The Walmart that we're starting to go to a lot, to be honest with you, the toys are kind of lacking there. It was worth coming out here, especially to pick these up. But I mean, for what I saw, I mean, we just saw the Batmobile. So, you know, checking out different Walmarts, I mean, that's what it's all about. Like the, the hunt, the thrill, this reminds me back in the day when I was looking for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and 90, you know, the 94 range, and even the mini Nintendo, like the hunt for that, what was that 2016, 2017? Like, it was so hard. I, I camped out in front of stores, like waited all night back when Toys R Us still existed. And you know, there's just, there's a thrill about this. There's a thrill about picking up Arcade 1UP, but do an unboxing, we'll do a review soon. This is awesome. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Spoiler alert, we'll probably start off with the unboxing, the review, right where we left off here. And the funny thing is, I had a completely different video planned for today. I had something all day in mind, and it completely fell through the second I got there. And I want to give a shout out to Cornercade. If it wasn't for your posting on YouTube and for texting me the picture, I wouldn't have went to Best Buy and I wouldn't have picked up these either. This was supposed to be tomorrow morning. I was going to go really early to look for these and I thought, okay, change of plans really quick. We're going to go to Best Buy and we're going to look for these. And it just worked out. I, you know, we I can't believe it. We found these. You know, big shout out to Corner Kate. I hope we can hook up and hit Costco early next week. We were going to do it Sunday. It's looking like Monday. So maybe the next video we'll do the unboxing review. But you know what the daily videos, you just never know. But it's coming soon.